Finn Lau is a wanted man in Hong Kong. Chinese authorities have offered a bounty of around $128,000 for his arrest. The 29-year-old helped to organize the 2019 pro-democracy protests in Hong Kong. I propose different kind of strategies, hosting different rallies and even do advocacy uh, abroad. So that's how they, that's why they are accusing me for so-called colluding with foreign forces. Lau was arrested in 2020, but Hong Kong authorities failed to identify him as a ringleader and he was released. After that, he fled to Britain. China has already issued several arrest warrants for him, but this is the first time Beijing has explicitly offered a bounty for his arrest. The head of the Hong Kong government, he said, well, they will chase us until the end of the world. To be honest, I feel less safe in the UK. After I have faced different kinds of harassment, no matter whether it's virtual online harassment or physical harassment for the last few years, I was attacked near my home in 2020. That attack in London left Lao with severe injuries. He described the attackers as of East Asian origin and believes they were directed by the Chinese government. British police failed to identify them and Beijing has denied involvement. Lao is demanding that British authorities take the latest threats more seriously. I uh, request for assurance from the UK government that if there is anyone attempting to kidnap or to detain me under the well, so-called Hong Kong national security law, then they should be trialled and charged under the UK law for kidnapping. I have tried to contact Home Office as well as police several times, but there is no response at all. He believes Britain is reluctant to take a harder line as it does not want to jeopardise trade links with China. The British government did not respond directly to VOA requests for comment. Foreign Office ministers have condemned the bounties offered for the arrest of the Hong Kong activists. They said it is a long-standing policy not to comment on operational matters regarding their protection in Britain. Lau says the reward for his arrest will not deter him. I think I should uh, continue to fight on behalf of different Hong Kongers who could not do so uh, in Hong Kong. I got friends sitting in the prison of Hong Kong, so that's why I must continue to fight. Meanwhile, Hong Kong police this week took away the parents and brother of Nathan Law for questioning. Law is another pro-democracy activist and former lawmaker living in London, who is also subject to an arrest warrant and bounty. They were later released without charge. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.